So the next question is, how can we use optimization methods like GD, uh, but in a more improved way? So how we can improve the GD and what is the role of the momentum term? So whenever you hear momentum and then GD, uh, try to automatically focus on the SGD with momentum because SGD with momentum is basically the improved version of SGD. And as far as you know the difference between SGD and GD, it will be much easier for you to explain what is the SGD with momentum. So uh, we just discussed that the GD uh, suffers from oscillation, so too many of those movements. And a lot of time, because we are using a small amount of training data to estimate the true gradients, this will result in having entirely different gradients and too much of this different sorts of updates in the weights. And of course, that's something that we want to avoid because we saw and we explained that too many of those movements will end up causing the optimization algorithm to mistakenly confuse uh, the global optimum and the local optimum. So it will pick the local optimum, think that it's a global optimum, but it's not the case. So to solve this problem and to improve the uh, SGD algorithm while taking into account that SGD in many aspects is much more, much better than the GD, we came up with this SGD with momentum algorithm, where SGD with momentum will take basically the benefits of the SGD. Uh, and then it will also try to address the biggest disadvantage of SGD, which is this too many of these oscillations. And the way SGD with momentum does is that it uses this momentum and it introduces this idea of momentum. So momentum is basically a way to find and put the optimization algorithm towards better direction and reduce the amount of oscillations. So the amount of all these random movements. And the way that it does is that it tries to add a fraction of this previous updates that we made on the model parameters which then we assume will be a good indication of the more accurate direction in this specific time step. So imagine that we are at time step T and we need to make the update. Then uh, the what momentum does is that uh, it looks at all the previous updates and uses the more recent updates more heavily and says that the more recent updates most likely uh, will be better representation of the direction that we need to take versus the very old updates. And these updates in the optimization process, uh, these very recent ones, when we take them into account, then we can have a better, uh, a better way of, and more accurate way of updating the model parameters. So let's look into mathematical representation just for a quick refreshment. So what the SGD with momentum tries to do is to accelerate this conversion process. And instead of having too many of the movements towards the different direction and having two different often gradients and updates, it tries to stabilize this process and have more constant updates. And in here, you can see that as part of the momentum, we are obtaining this momentum term, which is equal to Vt plus one for the update at the time step of T plus one. What it does is that it takes this, this uh, gamma multiplies it by vt plus the learning rate eta and then the gradient where you can see that this inflated a uh, triangle uh, and then underneath the theta and then j theta t simply means the uh, gradient of the loss function with respect to the parameter theta and what what is basically doing is that it says we are computing this momentum term for the time step of t plus one which is based on the previous updates uh, through this term gamma multiplied by vt plus the, the common term that we saw before for the SGD and for GD, which is basically uh, using this uh, eta learning rate multiplied by the first order partial derivative of the loss function with respect to the parameter theta. So we then are using this momentum term to simply subtract it from our current parameter theta t in order to obtain the new version, so the updated version, which is theta t plus 1, where theta is simply the model parameter. So in this way, what we are doing is that we are performing more the updates in more consistent way. So we are introducing consistency into the direction by weighting the recent adjustments more heavily, and this builds up the momentum. 
hence the name moment, momentum. So the momentum builds up the speed towards the direction of the global optimum in more consistent gradients, enhancing the uh, movement towards this global optimum, so the global minimum of the loss function. And this then on its turn will improve, of course, the quality of the optimization algorithm and we will end up discovering the global optimum rather than local optimum. So to summarize what this SGD with momentum does is that it basically takes the SGD algorithm. So it again uses a small training data when performing the model uh, parameter updates. But unlike the SGD, what SGD with momentum does is that it tries to replicate the GD's quality when it comes to the finding the actual global optimum. And the way it does that is by introducing this momentum term, which helps also to introduce consistency in the updates and to to reduce the oscillations the algorithm is making by having much more smoother path towards discovering the actual global optimum 